Both light up. Inside, shut down. Inside boosters. You ever worry about yourself imploding? Like it's just yeah, too yeah. much? Absolutely. No one should put this many hours into work. This is not good. That's all it is. Did Tesla CEO Elon Musk is the subject of a new controversy after he appeared to smoke marijuana during a podcast interview. You like it, Cole? I sleep on the couch over there. So you're just laying here yeah. on the couch? Yeah. Last time I was here, I actually slept literally on the floor because the couch was too narrow. Yeah, I was going to say. And Elon, I have to say, it's not even a comfortable couch either. No, it's terrible. <laughs> this is a, not a good couch. You can make a swarm of assassin drones for very little money by just taking the, the, the face ID chip that's used in cell phones and uh, having a small explosive charge and a, and a standard drone and have them just do a grid sweep of the building until they find the person they're looking for, ram into them and, ex and explode. You can do that right now. Everyone in this room is inspired by you. Who are you inspired by? Well, Kanye West, obviously. <laughs> I think digital superintelligence will happen in my lifetime. 100%. At first glance, the tunnel is a bit daunting. It's only 12 feet in diameter, so it's much more claustrophobic than most transportation tunnels. And it'll be faster in practice. This is, at this point, I'm confident this can revolutionize cities and get rid of uh, soul-destroying traffic. The average person, they don't see killer robots going down the streets. They're like, what are you talking about? Man. We want to make sure that we don't have killer robots going down the street. Once they're going down the street, it is too late. We're rapidly headed towards digital superintelligence that far exceeds any human. I think it's very obvious. AI doesn't have to be evil to destroy humanity. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course, without even thinking about it. No hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road, and an anthill happens to be in the way. We don't hate ants. We're just building a road. And so goodbye anthill. I think digital superintelligence will happen in my lifetime. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Why is no one else doing these things? <laughs> What's your pain threshold? Yeah. Well, it's real high. Um, so, yeah, I mean, SpaceX is alive by the skin of its teeth, so is Tesla. Um, if, if things had just gone a little bit the other way, it, both companies would be dead. And, I, and I, like one of the most difficult choices I've ever faced uh, in life was, was in 2008. Um, and, um, I think I had uh, like maybe $30 million left, or $30 or $40 million left in 2008, and I had two choices. I could put it all into one company, and then the other company would definitely die, um, or split it between the two companies. And, but if I split it between the two companies, then both might die. Um, and you know, when you put your blood, sweat, and tears into creating something, building something, it's like a child. Um, and so, it's like, which one am I going to let one starve to death? I couldn't bring myself to do it, so I, put, I, I split the money between the two. Fortunately, thank goodness, uh, they both came through. Well, let's, let's start with that tweet, uh, which Musk says he sent while he was driving, talking about wanting to take his company private. Yeah, it's never a good sign when you tweet while driving. Um, 
this was a crazy story when it happened just because the the idea of Musk taking Tesla private would have been, you know, a big deal. What made it, uh, you know, even crazier is the fact that he basically didn't have any money to do it. it it's not even clear how hard he thought about it, which is, um, you know, it's particularly strange. I mean, one of the things that's made this man so uh, amazing, fun to write about, and I think part of the appeal for Tesla owners, Tesla investors, is that he's more human than your average, uh, you know, corporate um, executive. He's, he sort of, you know, speaks from the heart to some extent. Every data, every data point, Rod, that we look at internally suggests that we are best in class, but we don't so prefer best, to. Which is not a class. Yes, we're the best. <laughs> Sorry. The best, the best in a class of one. <laughs> And so where specifically will you be in terms of uh, you're, you're capital next. requirement? Next. Next. Boring bonehead questions are not cool. Next. What how, What percentage have actually taken um, a step to configure? We're going to go to YouTube. Sorry. These, these questions are so dry. <laughs> They're killing me. On April Fool's Day, Musk mixed his optimism with dark humor. On social media, in the midst of widespread concerns Tesla might collapse, he tweeted this, We are sad to report that Tesla has gone completely and totally bankrupt. So bankrupt, you can't believe it. You know people are nervous and they're worried. You, you are aware of that. So knowing that, why would you do an April Fool's joke that you did? Oh, because there were all these media articles uh, saying that Tesla's going bankrupt? Yes. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just do an April Fool's joke that we did go bankrupt. But Elon, that's not funny when people are nervous. I mean, it's April Fool's. People should, like, lighten up, okay? You're a neuroscience company, and you're working to build basically an interface to the brain. Yeah. Electrode to neuron interface at a mic micro level. Okay, what is it? Like, I'm going to have, like, a plug in my head that's going to fit into mm -hmm. a hard drive? Like, or how does that work? Yeah, yeah. Ch a chip and a bunch of tiny wires. Right. This, this would be implanted surgically, and it would do what? Could you input? Could you download Jim? Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, what, what, what? <laughs> the long-term aspiration of Neuralink was, would be to achieve a symbiosis with uh, artificial intelligence um, and to achieve a sort of democratization of, of intelligence uh, such that it is not monopolistically held in a purely digital form by governments and, and large corporations. Basically, an effort for man to merge with machine in yes. a healthy way. Yes. To beat machines, you basically have to merge with machines. Most likely, yes. Essentially, how do we ensure that the future constitutes the, the sum of the will of humanity? Um, and so if we have billions of people with a high bandwidth link to the AI extension of themselves, it would actually make everyone hyper smart. Okay, so you... So this is very esoteric. Yeah, no, but you say this is more psi than phi, so you believe we're headed this I way. I believe this can be done. When will I be able to get the interface implant? It's probably on the order of a decade. For at least five years before I started the Boring Company, I was trying to encourage anyone to do tunnels. Please, someone do tunnels. Um, it's the obvious move. Um, and no one did tunnels. After five years of just trying to convince other people to do tunnels, like, okay, I guess I'll do tunnels. I didn't want to. I wanted to ask somebody else to do it. You didn't want it? Why did you want somebody else to do it? Because I have a lot on my plate. Yeah, I know. I want to talk about your plate, because your plate is very full. But what is it that you saw about tunnels that you thought, okay, this is a really good idea? Because I see tunnels, I see dark, I see creepy, I see narrow, I see cramped. You look at a tunnel and you see what? You have to have a 3D transportation network to match 3D buildings. Um, and so the thing about tunnels, you can have many layers of tunnels. Um, you can go deeper down and you can, you can go up in skyscrapers. Wow. The, the deepest mines are, are, are way deeper than the tallest buildings.